Good morning, everybody. Happy Wednesday morning. This is going to be video one for Wednesday, but um, I have a big message for you at the end, and I'll repeat the message at the end of video, you know, the last video so that you guys will not forget because there's something big coming on Friday. So let's jump into this whole picture thing, shall we? Let's go. Here we go. The very first picture of Catherine released from Kensington Palace for Mother's Day. Remember, Mother's Day in the UK is different time of the year than Mother's Day in the United States. Catherine looks very happy. She's pictured with the three children and she put out a message. Thank you for your kind wishes and continued support over the last two months. Wishing everyone a happy Mother's Day. And she signed off with the message C for Catherine. Initially, one of the first things everybody noticed was Catherine wasn't wearing her wedding rings. Now that's not abnormal because after you have surgery, your fingers can swell, so she has them off. Also, she was at home and not everybody wears their rings 24 seven, like I don't. Also, we've seen those boots that she was wearing before in 2019. But then suddenly, a kill notification was put out telling people to pull the picture too late. You can't pull the picture after it's out because the picture was altered. This is where it gets really crazy. So they're saying the picture was recalled because it might have been manipulated. Well, the Sussex squad went nutso. It's photoshopped. How dare they? Okay, so of course, people started bringing up the Photoshop options that, you know, with Harry. We know that Harry constantly changes the color of his hair adds hair to his head because obviously the man is going bald, makes his eyes more bluer. But I mean, it's just ridiculous the amount of photoshopping that we see from Harry and Meghan. The, this picture shocked me. The first photoshopped one put out, you know, without photoshopping and then this one like recently right after it. Now, let's also take a look really quickly as what was reminded by this Twitter follower that when Harry and Meghan put out the pregnancy photos, remember this one? The tree's not really there, it was photoshopped in. I did a whole video on the fact that I don't believe that's her body, but that's the head put on. Then this picture came out, multiple Photoshop problems from Harry's wrist, if it looks like it wasn't attached correctly, to the fact that Meghan had six toes and some toes looked like they'd been cut off. Princess Catherine came right out and said, and I'm quoting, like many amateur photographers, I do occasionally experiment with editing. I want to express my apologies for any confusion the family photograph we shared caused yesterday. I hope everybody celebrating had a happy Mother's Day. Here are the nine issues that I would never have noticed. Here we go. Number one is Charlotte's hand and sleeve because the hand is offset to the sleeve. I would never have noticed that. Okay, not a biggie. Number two, Kate's zipper looks misaligned and brighter than the rest of it. Here is the picture that they showed. You see where the zipper is? However, here's a picture of the jacket. That's been debunked. It's exactly where it should be. Number three, they're saying George's hand appears blurry. Uh, isn't it possible that he was moving during the picture? Just throwing that out there. Number four is Princess Charlotte's knee. Once again, I gotta be honest, I don't see anything wrong with her knee. I'm not sure what the issue is. Uh, number five is her hair because it appears to just abruptly disappear on her shoulder on the right side. That is correct, that looks like that's happening. Number six is Prince Louis' hand. They're talking about that one of his fingers is over and his thumb, but I have to admit, yes, one of his fingers is just missing. So that's an obvious manipulation. Number seven, Catherine's hand around Louis, they said, seems blurry. Again, uh, maybe she was moving her hand during the picture. I don't know. Number eight is the corner of Charlotte's skirt. They said it's another editing error. I can see that too on the upper left side, for sure. That's, that's also editing. Number nine, Charlotte's boot, because her shoe that's on the ground has no heel, but the shoe that's behind her leg has a heel. So obviously the heel was added. You guys see that, right? Okay. I have to be honest, I think there would have been less controversy if they had just put out the picture and just let it go. You know what I mean? Yeah, your editing skills could use some work, but okay. But what do you think happened next? Omid Scobie, that's right, Mr. Lickspittle himself has popped up and this is what he said. 
It's fair to say that most photos released by the offices of public figures have been retouched in some way. So if this was an isolated incident, then it should just be an unfortunate error. But with the palace's long history of lying, covering up, and even issuing statements on behalf of family members without their permission, i.e. Prince Harry... It's becoming increasingly difficult for the public to believe a word and now photo they share. Gaining that back at this point is an almost impossible task. Who is this man kidding? This is a man that was caught perjuring saying that Harry and Meghan didn't help him with finding freedom. This is a man who we now know beyond a shadow of a doubt is Harry and Meghan's spokesperson and the stuff he's talking about has already proven to be a lie. Why does, why does he even deny that he's their spokesperson? I don't get it at this point. The only thing that I can say about this whole debacle is if Harry and Meghan are trying to rebrand, Omid Scobie's not helping. Mm-hmm. Now you should know that it is being said William took the picture in an attempt to provide reassurance to the public that Catherine was okay. One little thing that nobody's considered, this has created a problem for the media, inability to sell the image and make money. Way to go, William and Catherine. Very smart, very on the sly. Now, Kensington Palace, it's being reported, is under pressure to release the photo, the unedited photo, to the public in order to build up public trust. Are you kidding me? Listen, they take their own family photos. They're doing things their way. They've always done things their way. I don't see anybody else telling Harry and Meghan not to put out edited photos. If they want to put out those photos, that's the way it is. I don't think they should have to release that photo if they don't want. Their choice. The out-and-out -out abuse towards Catherine has gotten so bad that magazines are putting out things like this, telling people to lay off. I mean, it's not like she made major changes. She tweaked a sweater. She tweaked a skirt. You know what I mean? The way this has blown up in the media, you would think she killed somebody. <laughs> like, it's gone out her limits. So remember this AP notification was put out because they don't like Photoshopped images. And Kathy here pointed something out. AP put this out. You guys see that image in the upper right? Yes, they allowed this picture to be posted where somebody manipulated Catherine's face. And how about this photo that was put out by Harry and Meghan before they left? It got a kill on it, but nobody went ballistic, right? Here's another image put out by AP and Getty Images that was manipulated. Nobody said a word and the picture was put out. See a little bit of a double standard going on here, do you? My goodness, how about this one? We all know this was manipulated. But when Harry and Meghan put out pictures, they're manipulated. They're always manipulated. Okay, let's look at the very first Christmas card they put out. They made it look like a cartoon. Everybody went, what? All right. How about this picture? Their happy holidays photo. Look at their daughter. Okay, look at, first of all, look at Megan's thumb. Nobody's thumb is that long. Daughter's hand. She only has three fingers. It looks like a claw. They were pointing out that her legs were unnaturally stretched. How about this picture of Archie? Look at his right hand. It's turned backwards. He has two left hands. Okay, here's a picture of Megan reading to Archie, supposedly Archie. Her forearm is too long. Look where her hand is holding the book. This is a regular thing. People constantly put out doctored photos, especially Harry and Megan. Nobody reacts like this. Yeah. Now, here is the big news. Because we just had our three-year anniversary of the Oprah show, I went through and did another debunking. I'm talking... The whole show in order. Anything that could be debunked, I debunked. And I am releasing that on Friday. That is going to be three videos of that and nothing else. So I hope you'll tune in. So you guys know what to do. This was video one. Come and find me for video two. And we're moving on.